All right, everyone. Here's another Navigator, GNH Navigator Mallard Drake Swimmer. So this one's year old. We used it last season, and we do love it. It'll swim in one direction, stop. Swim in the other direction, stop. It's real intermittent on the on its direction there, but adds nice uh, motion to the water. I can't tell you that you should probably put. Uh, Decent amount of extra line on it and then keep it away from your other decoys for sure. It'll get tangled up in a heartbeat. Or keep it away from uh, fallen timber, branches, nastiness out there so it can swim freely without getting tangled up. This one's my buddy's and uh, like I said, we used it last season. And one of the last hunts of the season, the propeller guard, well, we kept it in our decoy bag, but the propeller guard, we smashed it. And he sent it back into GNH just a few weeks ago. They fixed it, shipped it back, and I don't believe they charged him. Don't quote me on that, but I certainly don't believe they charged him. Good guys over at GNH. But boy, he sure adds some motion and to the water and a little flair to your setup. We love him. Now we've got one swimmer and two duck butts. Uh, swivel head so you can turn it any way you want. Other side here, I'll show you what we've got. It's the uh, motor housing, the propellers in the back. Once you put it in the water, it's not noisy. And you can see it's angled down, gives a nice uh, weight to it and behind it. Uh, two C batteries, I want to say, go inside. Now, they also say with your genie says that with the motion of the propellers, you know, over a bit of time, water uh, can find its way in there. So make sure when you get her home, get her home, uh, you take off the, the battery housing, which is this part right here, and let it dry out. So you don't get uh, any corrosion on the, the, the points or anything. Anyways, that's a G&H Mallard Drake Navigator swimmer version. We love them.